So basically, this is some of the results that Spock gives. But in the very end, what you have basically is the zip file with the HMM. So if you open here, you can see that this text file summarizes all the information that was used by the front ends and everything, mostly the front ends, and also one HMM per word. So this is the format that Spock uses. But there is also a system or a toolkit for dealing with HMMs that's called HTK that's very famous. So if you want to interface you can save oops, you can save the HMMs in HTK format. If I go choose and then oops no no when I go to this directory temps, speech, outputs, uh, MFC, HMMs, bound watch 5 so I'm going to get this HMMs.zip and save as HTK and save to the same calling HMMs dot txt I guess it's a text file let me just so if I know I open it you can see the HMMs were organized in HTK format that's called MLF so basically this is the HMM for 8 and then you go down after 5 Gaussians per state you're going to find other HMMs like for 5, 4, and so on. So, still in the advanced uh, tab, you can find capture and playback. So, first, this is the main configuration uh, parameters for training and testing the HMMs, but as we saw in the advanced, uh, you can find the code to write as HTK file, the set of HMMs, and also before trying to recognize speech online using a microphone, it's good to test the recognition, I mean the microphone itself. So if you say record, hello, 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 and then pause or stop, you can see if everything is working, you can save to a file you can choose the sampling frequency and etc and all this is based on sans uh, java codes so it's basically something useful to check if java at your system especially if you are running linux is able to to record speech so i'm going to close it but just to to uh, remind you that this you can find on this advanced tab capture and playback now i'm going to close spock and go back to this option java.jar and dukov that's the online speech recognizer so you have to provide it with an HMM I'm going to use this that's the best set of HMMs that we trained with five Gaussians per mixture so now I'm going to, uh, it has an interface with MATLAB that is not uh, uh, enabled and basically you can go uh, estimating noise first and then starting or if you press start it's going to estimate noise but what I'm going to do is not choose run con continuously and just press start. It's not going to work proper because this microphone is is not uh, is very bad in fact five dollars microphone but uh, 
I don't know if you saw it was estimating the 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 silence uh, thresholds. Basically, it gets an estimate of the environment, and I tried to be quiet, but it says this is this. I mean, this is the threshold, and now it already recognized the six. I haven't said anything, but it got six, and then these are the best options that it, it had. So six, and then the second candidate it was two, and you can press stop and start again and every time you press start it's going to estimate the environmental noise now it got 85 so let me see if I can run it continuously okay six seven yeah it's probably uh, confused to have my application that's recording this presentation is getting the microphone so I don't know how this guy is, is dealing with these facts but let me start everything okay let me say oops I have to get the HMM first and I'm going to choose run continuously and say start one two <laughs> it got zero five six so that's it and basically of course you can improve the system especially the endpoint detection where it says here the word starts and then it finishes there. So this is also called voice activity detection and it's crucial for a good estimation or a good recognition. But basically this is something that this software is uh, using a very simple energy based uh, voice activity detection where it just gets an estimate of the environment signal or noise and it if it goes, uh, if it senses more energy or a louder sound, it recognizes the, the start of speech. And when it goes down to uh, uh, another uh, quiet uh, region, it says it's, it has finished it. And you can see it's very complicated for, for the software to keep running but let, let's try uh, again five six so that's it bye bye